COVID. Literally. Um, <clears throat> hello. Um, I haven't posted a video on YouTube for a while. Um, because there hasn't been much to post, to be honest. Obviously with the, the uh, situation in the past year. I'm aware, obviously, that my, my cats, well, cat, is particularly popular on my YouTube channel, so I thought I would do a cat-based video today to keep me busy. Since getting Sully, um, like six years ago, we have got another cat. She's a female cat called Missy, and she's a British short hair as well. And um, she's amazing. I'll see if I can grab her for you to show you one second. This is Missy, and she is so lovely. She's tiny. <laughs> Well, I say she's tiny, she's tiny compared to Sully, and um, she, I'm obsessed with her. <laughs> We've had her for a couple of years now, and then um, her and Sully get on quite well. Um, they don't particularly like sharing the same rooms, they kind of have their own little territories. <laughs> um, like Missy sits in the, the front room all the time and Sully sits in the back and if either of them go in each other's rooms sometimes there's the odd fight but they, um, they like being around each other um, and it's nicer when we go out to know that they've got each other <laughs> um, right anyway that's a bit of an introduction I'm out of breath by the way because I do currently have Covid um, but I am absolutely fine. Um, right, so I'm going to do the pet tag today. Um, I thought that would be quite interesting because you'll be able to get to know them a little bit better <laughs> and um, it'll be fun for me as well. I'll show you Sully as well. I've taken some clips of them both over the past couple of days and I'm going to see whether I can find some like from previous years as well that I might not have posted anywhere I do update their Instagram all the time by the way so you know if you're thinking oh I've not posted anything in so long there is loads of pictures and videos on their their Instagram which is um, at Sully and Missy I'll put it on the screen somewhere uh, yeah so I've I've got questions ready. Uh, I found it online this this pet tag, and I watched a few other people do, it and it looked quite fun. They all have their pets like perfectly sat on the knee, but I don't think either of them would be up for that. I'll grab Sully afterwards though. So, <sighs> um, the first question is, what are your pets' names? Um, obviously I have two cats. We've got Sully. Um, and we have Missy as well and then it says how did you come up with the name and does it have any specific significance so um, Sully we got when he was a kitten so obviously we were able to name him and I think my brother came up with his name because he's a British Blue um, so I think Darcy once said oh it'll be like the the blue monster out of Monsters Inc, which who's obviously called Sully. So we were like, oh yeah, we'll we'll go with that. So that's where where Sully's name comes from, um, and he has loads of different nicknames as well. <laughs> and then, then Missy came named as Missy. So we bought her a couple of years ago now. Off, I think the website's called Pets for Homes, and. Um, we knew we wanted a female cat and my mum had been looking quite a lot and we found her um, at a breeders in Yorkshire area and um, my mum and dad went to have a look and they, they were retiring and finishing breeding. We bought her when she was about 18 months old so she'd obviously, she already had a name and that was Missy and we did talk about changing it before we got her but then the minute she was here she was just she was Missy and she suited that name so that was fine by us um, and we called her Moo and like Miss Moo, Missy, Sully's, Saucy, um, what else do we call her? Um, oh honestly you should hear me and my mum, we have so many stupid names for them both I don't think either of them even know what their name is um, 
So how old is your pet? Sully is six and he was born in May, so he'll be seven this May. Um, and Missy is three, so she will be four in June. Um, when did you get your pet? So we got Sully when he was, I think he was about four months old or something. Uh, I think I made a video around the time that we first got him. Um, and yeah, Missy was 18 months when we got her. Um, what breed is your pet? Both of them are pedigree British short hairs. Um, how old were you when you got your pet? I was about 18 I think when we got Sully and then got Missy a couple of years ago so I was probably about 22, 21 maybe. What is your pet's favourite food? Um, Missy's not nearly as picky as Sully is. Sully's been spoiled <laughs> to death since we bought him. We feed them both on, I think it's called Royal Cannon and it's the jelly food, the sachets and they have the the brilliant ones I think they're called um, Sully has some specific biscuits from the vets um, that are also by Royal Cannon that are like fibre biscuits um, just to help him go to the toilet a little bit easier because <laughs> um, he's had some problems with that in the past um, yeah, Missy just kind of eats whatever. She likes um, little chew sticks and they both like biscuits. Um, but yeah, we give them sachets uh, and biscuits and they both absolutely love fresh water. Sully particularly likes drinking water in the garden. I think, you know, even if we get it out of the tap and put it in a bowl and put it in the garden for him, he'll drink and drink and drink. I think he likes the idea of it being like fresh water. What is your pet's favourite game? So Sully's not really one for games, but um, we have a golf course behind the house and we get a lot of golf balls in the garden. So um, Sully does love like playing football with the, the um, golf balls and kicking them around everywhere. Um, like through the like laminate floor in the hall, he loves like them rolling and coming back to him. So that's the only game really Sully plays. Um, Missy, we have a game on Mum's iPad um, where you tap a mouse. Uh, I'm sure if you have a cat, you might have tried it before, but um, they pour the the iPad and it, and it makes noises and it's like they're catching a mouse. Um, she she quite likes toys, but she just gets bored very quickly and she's uh, not bothered now. Do they go outdoors? And um, so they're both house cats, um, but we do um, put them on a really long lead in the garden, so they can pretty much go as far as they want within our garden. Um, we Sully likes going out, so we try and put him out as much as possible on the lead. Um, Missy's just not interested at all. Um, we do put her out as well, just because you know we think it's quite nice for them. Um, but she would quite happily just stay indoors all the time. You know, we she she meows when we um, try and put a little collar on her and stuff. She's not interested at all. Um, but yeah, Sully really enjoys it. Um, they go out. I'd say if it's not raining, they probably go out every day just for an hour. Um, and then they tend to, if, we, if we're if we in the garden, they're happy to stay out. But if we come inside, they, they're, they're always keen to come back in. What is a bad habit that your pet has? So Sully likes to eat Missy's food. Um, we think it's just a bit of a jealousy thing and probably, um, I don't know, I think it's like him being the, the boss. But uh, he likes to, eat all of his food and then finish off hers or even start on hers obviously we do try and make it not happen um but there is times when like we might be going to work or whatever and we and we've seen him just start on her straight away and there's nothing we can really do um sully eats too fast as well sometimes so he is a bit greedy you know he can eat and eat and eat and then he's sick um hi come up here <laughs> can you hear her hello <laughs> um, yeah, so Sully eats and eats greedy. Um, Missy, mm, she likes to knock things off. It's not particularly like a bad habit though. <laughs> it's just what cats do, isn't it? What is the best thing about your uh, thing about your pet? Um, Sully is has become really cuddly. Um, 
particularly since we've got Missy um, and he he loves sitting on your knee and he loves being carried around the house as well and um, so he's quite needy and we, we do like that you know you can you can tap on the sofa next to you and he'll come and jump up and cuddle you um, best thing about Missy she's very vocal it's lovely like you'll you'll speak to her and she she tends to speak back and um, yeah she's just she's really nice company yeah, and, and she it's like she knows what you're saying you know, you'll speak to her and she'll just meow back and things. It's really cute. What is the funniest memory involving your pet? Um. Oh God. There's all sorts all the time with both of them. They're both so funny. Um. I like it when they're playing together and they've got like if there's a golf ball or something like that and they're both batting it around. Um. And they're they're funny when they're rare. Uh, chasing after each other. Sully always gives up, like Missy's so fast um, and Sully will be chasing around after her and um, he'll just give up midway and just lie on the floor, they're, they're so funny. Um, what is the hardest thing about being a pet owner? Um, I'd say leaving them. I hate it when, um, at the moment obviously we're isolating and we're all at home. But when we are at work as normal um, and they're on their own all day, I hate that. But to be honest, you know, cats do like their own company and they've got each other as well. Um, and there's, there tends to be someone home, you know, even if they're not, it, it might be a few hours before someone's around. But yeah, um, that's hard. Um, what is the most rewarding thing about being a pet owner? Um, rewarding. I don't know, I think it's just nice giving them a nice life. We know they they treat really well and they're happy and uh, they're fed well and um, you know they get everything they need. Uh, pet have a nickname and why is it? I think I covered this a little bit earlier but they have so many different names. Um, Missy is Moo, um, Lulu, Moo Moo, Moo, um, Miss <laughs> and Sully gets so many different ones. Percy, um, <laughs> and what else does he get? Sully, Saucy. Oh, honestly, we, we sound ridiculous when we're talking to them. Have you ever taught your pet any tricks? <laughs> no. Um, one of my friends has two cats and she's managed to teach them how to um, fetch. Uh, I honestly, I we haven't even begun trying to do that with these two because they're super lazy. Um, but I might do in the future, maybe. Um, but yeah, I'll get Sully and show you him. I felt bad because he's in his igloo asleep. <laughs> but here he is. <laughs> Say hi. Huh? Where are you? He absolutely loves it in here. Um, and he just sleeps in here for hours every day and you're lovely aren't you and he's super cuddly <laughs> is that it yeah I'll put you back I think that is it really I hope it's been slightly entertaining Um it's kept me busy for a little bit anyway <laughs> you might be able to see my um, Ikea teddy here that my boyfriend got me for Christmas, so in case you're wondering, it's not an actual bear. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'm going to insert some bits of footage of them in between as I'm talking. Um, I've taken some footage of them in the last couple of days and yeah, I'm going to get posting some videos of Missy as well, I think. Um, and hopefully you all enjoy it. Okay, see you soon.